Hey guys, it's me, Giga Camo. I'm back, and it's darker in, in, on the screen. You know why? We're going to be unboxing the Dark Starter Pack. Ugh. Well, that was a terrible intro, and I'm not going to turn the lights back on for celebration of our favorite starter pack and the way to start off Swap Force. Um. This was the most recent thing I just picked up of the Swap Force thing, other than the 3DS. But I really like this thing because uh, it. I think in my mind, it's one of those, if you're a genuine collector, this is definitely your pack. Because it just comes up with just like so much things any collector can pick up and enjoy. So, um... Let's take a look at it. I'm actually going to need to move an inch to unbox this because it's so big. There we go. It comes with five figures. Dark Slobbertooth, my first Dark Skylander. Dark Blast Zone, my second Dark Skylander. Dark Spyro, uh, Thorn, I mean, sorry, Mega Ram Dark Spyro. My third Dark Skylander, Dark Washbuckler, my fourth Dark Skylander, and uh, Dark Ninja Stealth Elf, my fifth, uh, my fifth um, Dark Skylander. And actually, the my first was Dark Spyro, and I'll uh, get him. Uh, There we go. Here's Dark Spyro. He was part of the 3DS. Let's get to unboxing the giant. Ugh. First, let's check the other sides. Um, it just has like the five things you'll like the many things you'll get. Then the back, um, it's totally displayed. And um, like um, it says somewhere. Um, like, the new, there's a, actually a new, uh, backstory with this thing, like, that, I'll tell you what it is, I can't find it on the box, but, um, Chaos, uh, was working with Petrified Darkness Energy, and it would, to destroy Skylands. The Skylanders needed to, uh, like, find a way how to defeat the Chaos, to defeat Chaos, and to... Do, and the factory exploded and darkness leaked everywhere for it uh, to not destroy Skylands. They had to absorb it, making the dark Skylanders. This is a great deal at the case, but at the cost of losing three Skylander regulars form. Oh well, I hope they pop up somewhere else. But, um, let's get to unboxing the thing, because I know you all are jumping off your seats waiting to see what's in this thing, and I am too. So let's get it open. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure they had... Like, I'm just trying to find any good entrance into the thing. Aw, oh, crap. I might have to fix that. Um, I'm actually trying to find... Uh, oh, I could see it requires a knife. Uh... Let me see, I have to think. Ugh, what's the sharpest thing I have to a knife? This is gonna be uh, bad, but I guess I'll take it from one of my hero factories. Ugh. Got it out this way. I'm gonna have to repair the packaging. That was stupid of me, but, um... Ugh. The tape won't stop taping. Uh, okay, I got, uh, this, which holds, uh, 
swap force, um, which I can take. Um, Skylander swap force. Let's open it up to see the disc. Wow. Okay. Uh, it actually looks pretty cool this time. Rather than just Tree Rex using an attack, shows a scene from shows a scene from the uh, thing they play, the movie they play at uh, the stores. And uh, the new portal actually looks great. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot it has wires, which is a uh, thank gosh thing, because I absolutely hated the first one, because it caused way too many issues, plus I actually ha have like a little, I also had a portal problem where uh, the batteries ran out and I broke the portal trying to unscrew for the batteries, and then um, I had to get a whole new portal and I had to wait a long time, and that was stuck, because um, I wanted to play Skylanders. That was around the time like I played Creepy Citadel. Like, I don't have a walkthrough of Spire's Adventure, but that's why now I hate Creepy Citadel. Because not only does it have a cheap boss, like, it's just annoying. So, this is beautiful. I don't have any TV to plug it in, so I'll put it to the side. And, uh, this would be the, uh, other thing. Um... And we'll open that up. And that I saw the codes on the other thing, so I'm scared uh, to open the other thing on camera. Eh. Still stinks. I accidentally ripped uh, the dark pack. Uh, stomp the cards out. Uh, okay. I guess I'll take them out. Uh, the first one is Dark Blast Zone, uh, which has 190 power, 90 defense, uh, 130 agility, and 50 luck. The next one is Dark Wash Buckler, who is a little bit more balanced, 135 attack, 125 defense, 65 speed, and 140 luck. Next one is uh, Dark Ninja Stealth Elf, which has 70 attack, uh, 40 defense, 130 speed, and luck 70. Next one is Dark Spyro, which has um, 85 power, 65 defense, 110 uh, speed, and 60 luck. Then the next one's my per the last one is my personal favorite Dark Skylander Dark Slobber Tooth, uh, one forty five attack, one thirty defense, twenty five um, speed, and twenty luck. So now that you saw the cards, I'll put them uh, by my Light Core Hexes card. Um, this is an instruction book, so I guess I'll take those away. And also, I found that they have codes somewhere, like the code cards, so I'm not going to unbox them right away, because you guys will probably stalk and find out my codes. Ugh. And in fact, I don't even know where they are, so uh, I might get to those at the end of the video. Uh, put this aside. Uh, now let's take out the part everyone wants to see. Oh, there they are. The Dark Skylanders. Ugh. Why am I even doing this? Ugh. It's going to make no difference. Uh, I might as well take out uh, this part. Oh. I'm stupid. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm... Uh, next to take out the codes without people seeing it because that's also a big chore because uh, Those people probably who got lucky with my like or hex video. They're probably snatching the codes for themselves um, So uh, I'll just show you them once I get the actual Skylanders out um, Because I don't want you guys killing my uh, Skylander code collection That would just be a bad thing here they are. 
Um, let me see. Put the box aside. Let's take out Dark Slobber Tooth first. Oh, he's the first swaps for Skylander Dark. He's the first. He's my first swap for Skylander ever. Um, uh, he looks very cool. Uh, I'm very excited for him. Because Slobbertooth, he was actually on my screensaver along with Slobbertooth. Uh, he has a cool tail that looks like it might be something from Ninjago. He's cool looking and stuff, so that's good enough for me. Uh, I guess we'll p bring the portal over. Um, there, here, I guess. Uh, sorry you guys can't see it right now. Uh... Put him on there. Next is Dark Blast Zone. Who these aren't like horror, but I'm worried I'd break something like a magnet, which would be bad. Uh, they package it a bit too good. Uh, I'll take this out uh, fast so I can do it. Uh, because I don't want, uh, it'll get me easier if I do that. Okay, uh, it came out pretty easily the way I tried it. This is stupid. Okay, after that minutes. Uh, we got, uh, Dark Blast Zone. He's pretty cool. He's my second favorite Dark Skylander. And I just wanted to try this out. Ugh! Why can't I put it in reverse? Yeah, he's doing the dance. Uh, okay, we'll take out Dark Spyro next. And he should be a lot easier than the Skylander swap course. That just makes me get scared what's ha going to happen in future videos. Uh, the next one is Dark Spyro. He looks very cool. Uh, his wings fold nice comparison to the uh, original Spyro, I guess. Um. Ah, that's cool. I'll put him aside, uh, right here, because you want to see him. Uh, next is Dark Wash Buckler, who is the Squid Man, um, of the game, or the mascot. And, uh, his dark is pretty cool. So, uh, put it there, and I'll swap. Don't worry. And the next... The last one is Dark Ninja Stealth Elf, um, which just flew out of nowhere. And I'm actually going to put this display in the uh, box fa fast because I liked that display and I am not going to ruin it. Uh, sorry if this video is long uh, because it's Dark Edition. It was $100 and it's a lot of stuff bundled together. So... Uh, apologies if anyone's like, this video's too long. Uh, here's Dark Ninja Stealth Elf. Personally my least favorite of the darks, but I guess it's kind of forgivable. Uh, the Dark Skylanders are very, very cool. Um, this is personally, well, I'm glad I got the Dark Edition now. I kind of would have been upset if I got the regular ones, because I wouldn't be able to... Pulled such cool Skylanders, especially since Blast Zone and Wash Buckler I swapped with just about a hundred times at just about every store we went to. Um, so, um, I'm actually putting the Dark Starter pack away right now because uh, I'm keeping the packaging. It's always going to be in uh, there. I might have to shift sides now that I'm doing Swap Force, and I don't want it to aim towards the uh, Spyro's Adventure and 
Giants one, because that would just be stupid if there were no, like, Swap Force in the uh, mix. So, it's very uh, cool looking. I can't wait to play the actual game. Uh, kind of stinks that this one doesn't have fire crack in at the uh, boxer. Uh, here's the box, by the way. I'm going to toss that aside. So, uh, sw let's swap with uh, Dark Wash Buckler and Dark Blast Zone. I like how good the magnets are. Like, they automatically react. Like, if you need proof, watch this. So, uh, I think I'm more excited for Slobber Tooth out of all of them. Yes, even the Swapper ones. And, um, this was a nice video. And I'm going after... Oh, yeah, and if you really want to see the codes... Why would I even bother? They're just the same things as the Giants ones, and that I... You, you know what? Just fine, I'll show them if you're really wanting them. Uh, here's dir uh, Dark Blast Zones. Um, oops. Um, dark Wash Bucklers is right uh, here. Crap. That's not a good thing. Um, okay, I'm just going to be careful and probably not show you Slobber Tooth, because that would have been bad. Uh, Dark Ninja Stealth Elf. Dark Spyro is, uh, right here. And here's the one I'm scared, because if you guys catch Slobber Tooth, I'm just going to be mad. That didn't go too bad. So, happy to enter the realm of Swap Force, uh, as these guys are awesome. And that, um, I like how, what they did, like, make an entire Dark Starter pack. So now I can have a portal with Giant Skylander. Swap Force Skylanders. And also, if you want to know where, what my Swap Force thing looks like, it's right there. That's my new place I'm going to be filming videos, because if I filmed over here, it would just show, like, giants and stuff. And that would not make any sense in my mind. So, if you actually watch this whole video, like, comment, and subscribe. This is uh, me, Giga Camo, and I'm going to actually unbox something, swap B. Yeah.